Hi my beautiful Pisces and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I am so glad to have you. All right, Pisces. So let's see, we are going to do, I brought back the intimate extended. So you guys were asking so much. So I decided, okay, let's bring them back. From now on, I'm gonna start doing them once a month. So once a month, every single sign will get an intimate extended. So at the end of this video, we will show you the sneak peek. And then if you feel guided, then the link will be in the description box below. I'm doing one for every sign this time, so I'm gonna guide you guys not to just look at your sun, but look at your um, your your moon, your Venus, and your um, Mars placement. So go look at the titles of all of them. It doesn't mean you have to get all of them, but just look at the titles and which one is calling you the most. That one's gonna resonate with you the most. So other than that, um, all readings are on sale right now. So the readings are going to be on sale for $10 to $15 off of each reading for the month of May. Crystals, uh, the crystal of the month is Desert Rose. We are having a full moon, or sorry, a new moon in Taurus, the 11th. And then on the 26th, we have uh, an eclipse in Sagittarius. So make sure that you get your crystals in order to do your rituals and to start doing rituals. Follow me on Instagram where I will be showing you a little bit about what I do on each of the uh, moon cycles and what you guys can do for the moon cycles. So since I am doing the intimate extended, I thought I would use this opportunity to show you guys a sneak peek into what the normal extendeds look like. So this video is going to be the um, love extended. So what the questions are going to be for this one are what was your, or sorry, what is your person's first impression of you? What do they currently think of you? What do they wish they had the courage to tell you? What do they want the most with you? What do they say about you when you're not around? What was their last thought of you? And why are they so attracted to you? So that's the information we're going to get today. Anybody who wants a personal reading to win a personal reading, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like more than one way to win that um, free reading, you can look in the description box below as there are ways that you can have a double or a triple entry. So what was this person's first impression of you, Pisces? What was this person's first impression of you? And all of a sudden, it's very interesting, I'm hearing like a humming sound. I don't know if you know this show, but I watched, ooh, the four of wands, beautiful. I watched this show uh, recently called Siren, and it's a mermaid show. And um, a siren is a mermaid sound, right? That sound that makes the opposite, um, I guess I don't want to like, use that word to get like my video cut, but like, whoever it is that you're drawn to it makes them drawn to you it makes them just see you like and if you can see like when i'm doing my readings like this is one where i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be here like i'm already in like a trance i'm already gone <laughs> and it started by that sound that beautiful siren sound and you know if there is a siren it would be pisces like you know so there's this energy where your person's first first impression was I don't know why I'm attracted, but I am so attracted. And it's this mermaid mysterious energy that is around you. For some of you, it's more of like a witchy type. Others, it's more of like this like mermaid energy. Some of you guys, it's more of like an angelic and it doesn't matter whether you're a male or a woman, this is the energy that you, um, that you, you know, you give off. Yeah, <laughs> so somebody is like, I'm hearing like drowning in your your presence, drowning in your essence, definitely on the verge of like an obsessive energy. And I think, I don't even know why though. It's almost like they don't know, like, you know people that just lose focus, lose control around certain people, it's almost as if that's the energy here. So their first impression of you four of wands, like have you ever just met somebody and you're like, I wanna marry that person? Like even if it's not like 100% serious, you're just like, that's the one that I want. Like I want that person, I have to have that person. I will do what I need to do to get that person because this person needs to be in my life. That's the energy of whoever it is that is on your mind, whoever it is that this reading is about for you. So it was very strong right off the bat. And I, that's that siren energy, right? It's that wave of sound. And all of a sudden, everything you think, see, breathe is that person. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. For some of you, that witchy energy that I was saying is like, especially if this person isn't very spiritual, they're like, what did you do? Especially if they're like a grounded energy, right? This could very well be a Taurus. I do like Taurus and Pisces together, but this could also be a Capricorn or 
um I'm, I, I don't know why but i heard scorpio yeah you know what because people are usually in a trance over scorpios but you could be the one person that actually made the scorpio in a trance over you know the scorpio finally is in a trance over somebody and it's over you so they're just kind of like this is usually the opposite i've never been on the flip side of this how you know this doesn't make sense what what is going on here for some of you it's funny because you were just completely not interested in this person in the beginning or you're still not interested this is somebody who's been chasing you or been trying to figure out how to chase you very very interesting okay so what do they currently think of you what do they currently think of you what do they currently think of you well, okay, huh, interesting. I'm not gonna pull those two, but I am gonna pull these two. The Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So for some of you, this person feels as though, if you're not already with this person, it's almost this energy of like, they feel like they lost out before they even tried. It's, this is definitely somebody who's in their head thinking the worst, thinking of the worst uh, scenarios, thinking that you may shoot them down here. Um, I definitely feel like with the Two of Pentacles, this person is, has, is worried about your other options. And for some of you, if you are with this person already, they feel like you may not be over somebody from the past here. So you could also be dealing with somebody from the past who might have had you in a third party situation, right? somebody from the past and for some of you it's somebody that you're still with that had you in a third phase situation and they have so much regret when they think of you they think of how much regret they have they think of the fact that they made a mistake that they chose they thought the grass was greener on the other side the grass was not greener on the other side you want to know what it was more than them thinking the grass was greener on the other side it was safer it was safe over there because they weren't in love right i don't think like we realize how much like if we are not like 100% with our heart chakra and if this is you then you did this to somebody you know rose quartz and mantras and just everything that you could possibly think of to build up your confidence and your self-love because when you do that then you don't you don't have to worry about things like that right because those are naughty those are external factors when you get to that level of confidence it's like if somebody wants to go somewhere else go for it I don't I, it, that's that's not there's nothing I can do what's for me will be for me nobody will ever be able to take it away so if somebody is going to go out and find somebody else instead of you know sulking about it you're just going to be like okay well at least you're out of my life at least I found out now now let me make room for my true soulmate right but somebody here it's like out of A fear of being left right and i'm hearing it doesn't matter if you had can you might have had to definitely reassure this person because i'm getting somebody that's not completely confident in who they are right and they definitely thought you were going to leave them or they thought that you were better than them in some way shape or form and honestly it has for some of you it has nothing to do with finances or your career it's more of like internally you were better than this person and because of that instead of like growing and learning with you and from you they were threatened by that and some of you, this is somebody who was threatened by your ability to just be, to just love so openly, right? It's like there's something within you that triggered this person, but instead of using it in the way that they were meant, that they were brought into your life to, you know, learn from it, they kind of went the opposite. I'm hearing like they went rogue. They kind of ended up, instead of like the lover's energy, unconditional love, they ended up in that devil energy. Um, so I definitely feel like this person wanted to like make you feel little the way that they feel of themselves. So... <sighs> Yeah, that's insane. So I don't know, that's um, it's definitely, if that's resonating, that is definitely a past person, or if that is resonating with your current situation, this is the person that you need to walk away from, not the person that you need to be with here. But for those of you where that's not the case, it really just seems like this person is wondering if they're good enough for you. They always think if they're good enough for you, and if you're as committed as they are, And I don't think that if that's the case, that it's like insecurity. I just think it's just like a, a question that they have, right? Okay, so what do they wish they had the courage to tell you? What do they wish they had the courage to tell you? The Four of Swords in reverse and the Empress. Yeah, see, this person definitely holds back on, you know, I'm hearing they could even hold back on the compliments, right? Um, some of you, I'm actually hearing this could be about fertility issues, right? Like, you are very abundant. 
um maybe you already have a kid you want more kids and this person has had problems having children in the past or knows that they can have kids that is something for some of you guys here that you're dealing with because i am getting the sense of, of children but this the, some sort of like delay in children and having children and the ability to have children here um also some of you guys it's like there's something that you're wanting you're wanting to take this direct into a certain um to the next level to a certain direction and this person's holding back and it's like they're not telling you why they're holding back and i think for some of you guys it honestly has a lot to do with they need to get their mental self together like you could be dealing with somebody that you've been dating for like three four years and you have no idea that they've been going to therapy this whole time like there's one hour that they go to work early because they've been in therapy because they're trying to deal with things like this is somebody who when it comes to them hurting and them not being in the best position like they want to take care of you they want to provide for you so anything that's going on internally that is not you know or even externally like when it comes to their finances they don't want to bring that burden onto you they want to be your peace and that's not going to work in the long haul so this person is going to need to learn to um you know be able to rely on you depend on you right this person may think that you're just going to break at any little wrong thing that happens and that's not the case like if this person were to give you the chance and to open up they would realize just how you know you honestly would have the perfect answers you would really have the perfect answers for this person so it's either that they have some mental like it's not that they have mental issues it's that mentally they're just not in the right space for that next step or possibly even financially but i feel like this person would feel weak by telling you that so they make up some other excuse or they don't give you a reason as to why but whatever this reason is for the delay it's a good reason and i think you would respect them if they were open and honest about it but Again, I'm hearing this person wants to be the big, the big hero for you. Some people just have a certain outlook, a certain vision on what things should be, right? And they want it and they want to do whatever until it, like, so that it's like that. Okay, so what do they say about you when you're not around? What did this person say about you? when you're not around the ten of swords the seven of pentacles the ten of swords and the seven of pentacles for some of you this is definitely somebody who had betrayed you at one point here because this energy is very um like ten of swords seven of pentacles right like this energy is very much how hard how hard it's been like the first message that i got was like how hard it's been to repair things how hard it's been to rebuild things after a betrayal right and then another thing for you that for those of you where it's like there hasn't been any cheating or any betrayal it's like this person had dealt with that in their past and it's taken everything within them to be able to you know almost like give you a clean slate give you a blank slate because i am hearing again this is probably somebody that does go to therapy and i am hearing this energy of like their therapist telling them like you the reason why you keep having the same things is because you keep you go into a new relationship and you have you treat them as though they're the person that had hurt you until you're able to you know have a connection and treat somebody as if they get a blank slate then you're not going to have any kind of connection that you want you're just going to have a repeat of a thing same things that you've dealt with or even if it's not a repeat it's just gonna it's not gonna last because it's not a fair start so this person really did so much work to be able to get to where it is but i definitely feel like there's so much stuff like that you don't know about the person that you're dealing with and and it's not like anything that would make you not want to be with them i think honestly i think that maybe you did fall for the way that they're trying to present themselves as that perfect person and sometimes you may even be a little bit intimidated because you feel like they have the perfect life and all that uh, but realistically i think that you would have so much more respect and you would just be so much more loving and caring towards this person if you did realize like wow they're not perfect like you know what i mean or if you were like oh wow they are able to be vulnerable with me they trust me with this they trust me with that right because i think you can obviously tell when things are going wrong with this person they just don't open up to you and I, and I think that that hurts because you're so intuitive right you know when something's up um and I feel like you guys will absolutely get to that part but it's gonna take some time 
And I'm hearing it's a, how much more time can it take for some of you? I'm hearing three years over and over again. You've been with this person for three years. But for some of you who it's been three years, it may even take two more years for this person to open up with their stuff. But I do feel like it's going to be worth it. Right? It's not like you're going to be, you know, waiting for them to commit to you or waiting, you know, waiting for anything ridiculous for two years. It's just that you'd be waiting for them to open up. That would be like the fullest level that you could ever open up to somebody. And realistically, I think that it should be like, you know, three years or more, you know, for that. You can't just give everybody everything or let everybody know everything, right? You have to really get to know people. So... For the majority of people, it would be around that third year where they would see your true self. But this person, they've been through so much, they take it that extra two years. And that's not for all of you, but for some of you, definitely. So I definitely feel like what they say is they tell a lot of people the things that they can't tell you. They become like, they, um, they are like that person that their friends are like, they're therapists, even though their friends aren't therapists. It's like, because they have so many things that they keep hidden it within when they're around their friends it's like they can finally release all of that stuff and they do tend to be like i'm hearing the nagger or the, the complainer so there's definitely a whole other side of this person that you have not seen and it's the side of them when things aren't going well when they're struggling financially when they're just feeling down about themselves you could be dealing with somebody that has that's uh, dealing with depression and it's crazy how you have no idea like it's like you know something's up but you don't know what so what was their last thought of you? What was this person's last thought of you? This whole spread two cards and it's usually one reversed, one upright. We have temperance in reverse, a page of pentacles here. Temperance in reverse, a page of pentacles. What was their last thought of you? I kind of need a clarifier for this one. Give me one more card for this. Seven of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that wonders if this is divine connection or, again, with the spell, right? If this is divine connection or if there's, like, Something that they're not seeing that made them so drawn to you, that made them so pulled towards you, especially because this is a pull that, and an attraction that they've never experienced with anybody else. They're kind of like wondering, like, it's almost like, you know, the difference between love and lust, but at the same time, it's, I feel like it's been so long for the majority of you that obviously they know it's not just lust. Obviously they know it's, it is love, but I just feel like this is somebody who it's like they don't really know what a soulmate is they don't really understand what a soulmate is and, and they need answers and they don't have any answers and even if you give them an answer if they have an answer they need an answer for that answer it's like they have so many questions and they don't know where to where to find these questions here this is somebody who if they were to just like trust their intuition and you know say they keep seeing two 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 if they would have just looked that up it would give them so much peace within their day but it's like they don't really listen to their intuition they don't really their intuition is very strong but they don't really listen to it they don't really um you know look at the signs they're really just kind of like focus on the here and in the now and because of that it's like whatever's on their mind is what's on their mind but like their surroundings they don't really focus on any of those types of things so i do feel like there's a lot of like signs and messages that this person misses about their day-to-day -day life and about your relationship and your connection that would make a lot more sense if they were you know focused i think that spiritually I'm hearing maybe you don't even know a lot spiritually, but there's still a lot that you could teach this person. Okay, and the last question is, why are they so attracted to you? This is definitely a different, this reading is def definitely different from all of the other ones that I've done. And I only have Virgo left, I think. Six of Pentacles, the Strength card, 
judgment. Yeah, you definitely have something about you that this person doesn't have, um, but definitely with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the last card, right? Your loving nature, your ability to be so selfless and to just love um, unconditionally. They love that. They're so drawn to that. The way that you can just open up with people, the way that you've been through so much, yet you still give. And you don't even expect much back when you do give, but somehow you do get it back. Whatever you give, you are the one who ends up getting it back. And they just wonder how that even happens when... Like, if they were to say anything spiritual, it would be like the universe is on your side or like your God's favorite or something like that, right? Because you do give, you do get what you give. And I feel like compared to what they've experienced, you definitely seem as though you've had an easier life. And I'm not saying that they think like, oh, you've, you know, they're not mad about it or anything like that. It's just like, that is something that they love about you. And when they look at you and the way that you live your life and the way that you see the world, it's so different from what, it's almost like the opposite of how they see it, but they want to get there. You know, it's like, they're almost like inspired by you, Muse energy as well, right? It's like, they want to get to a level of where you are. And I'm hearing it's spiritually and it's mentally. Um, yeah. Oh, so that is what I have. And then how beautiful is that at the end? We have the hangman, which is your card. What is it with? The six of cups in the reverse. Every card is coming out right and, and, um, and then reversed. Very interesting. All right, you guys, so that is what I have for you. If you want to follow me to the extended, we're going to show you a little preview next, and then we're going to go the extended, or sorry, the intimate reading will be down below. Um, personal readings are on sale, so the link will be for that will be below as well. And then for the um, crystals, Again, everything is down below. I love you guys so much. I can't wait. Even then, they were never able to be as satisfied as they are with you. And the funny thing is, is they don't even have to tell you. You just know. So I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing that you got that good, good. The best I've ever had. You always look so delicious. God damn, you always look so delicious. Right? Like whenever this person comes over, it's like they don't want to leave. You definitely had a past life, per, uh, past life connection with this person and it's almost as if you just remember exactly what they liked from the past life and you just do it now and they're just like, how? They've never been.